Welcome to the New Day Show. I'm Dr. Rick Kendall. And I'm Liz Kendall. And we did a live version of this, but you know what? <laughs> uh, we just felt like that we wanted to do a recorded version to make sure that you get the full impact of what we're talking about. We love doing it live, uh, our New Day Show, like we do on Sunday evenings at 6. But until we get some of the bugs worked out, uh, you know, we want to make sure you get the message. So we're also doing this. We love the interaction. But hopefully you'll comment on this as well. Right. And uh, so we wanted to present something to you to get your week started refreshed and your purpose ignited for life. That's what we're all about here on the New Day Show. And so this week we wanted to share with you from 1 Corinthians chapter 16 and verse 9. Uh, Paul is talking about in yes. this verse which says there is a great, a and, effectual. great and effectual door. Yeah open mm -hmm. for me mm -hmm. but there are adversaries yeah. at the door yeah he was talking about what he faced and also what we face you know we love the idea of open doors right. we love and we often call that doors of opportunity but it's more than that if it's just a door of opportunity you could walk through the wrong door that's right you know there's, there's good opportunities and then there's God opportunities yeah so when we are in tune with the Holy Spirit, we're going to know yeah. which one is which. Exactly. Right? Here, we need to understand that the door the Apostle Paul is talking about is literally representative of change. Mm -hmm. When you go through a door, there's a change. When God presents you, when it's Him presenting you with an open door, it's first going to change you. And then it's going to change you into the next level that you're approaching. So that's why the adversaries park themselves there because they're adverse to you going through. And remember that we live in a world system that is not our environment. Mm -hmm. And I mean the environment of the kingdom. And that's why the enemy tries so hard to distract us yeah. from going through the door the effectual door mm -hmm. that God has for us because he knows that if he can cause some distraction and that's going to be, you know, you, you're, you're in the middle of a change. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we lose our confidence, which God says is great recompense, recompense of reward. Of reward. Mm -hmm. So, so, so we just want to share with you not to be discouraged and to go ahead yeah. and go through realizing yeah. that you're going to change. And there's going to be changes all together around you. But it's all right. Yeah. Change is good. Well, because, you know, you're not a religious person trying to battle those adversaries. So don't focus on the adversaries. Right. They will move when you walk through. Because you're representing the authority of the kingdom of God, not a religion. Religion doesn't get rid of any adversaries. But when you're a representative of the kingdom of God, you're an ambassador of his then you have authority to speak through your mouth to your destiny yes through that door that will cause all of those oppositions all those storms that try to approach you all those adversaries to flee yes and it's how we go through it that's right but you know it's a good point about the religion and adversary you know religion uh, looks for adversaries to mm. attack <laughs> Sometimes religion is the episode. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but we have the power and we have the goods. So yeah. therefore, we are confident that when we're going through that door, that effectual door that God has given us, that there are going to be changes yeah. and that we're ready for that yeah. because we carry the good news. But keep your eye on the door. Of course, we know the door is Christ Jesus. But keep your eye on the door of governmental opportunity, God's kingdom. Yes is advancing you so keep your eye on the door and the adversaries will scatter until Amen. next week god bless you